Hi there. In this video, I will show you how the microhash channels work. And as you can see, we have two wallets, two token wallets open here right now with two different accounts. And what we want to do is we want to open up a channel between both accounts and then send tokens in between and then close that channel again. So the first thing we have to do is we have to fund our channel. We do this by sending tokens to the smart contract. I would choose this account because it already has a few tokens. As you can see here on index four, at epoch 2673. And as you see, we have 9.6 million tokens available. I enter now the smart contract address or ID. I will put that into the description. And now we have to choose a random index. Um, the thing is, you do not want your um, the index to collide with someone else's index. So just enter some random numbers to make sure that it's unique. So how much do we want to fund? Um, I would just choose 100,000. So this is the balance we have available in the channel and can send to the um, other participant. All right. Now we have to add the remainder. So the total input value matches the total output value. And then we can send the transfer. So now we see that on the Token Explorer, there are two outgoing transactions. Um, one for the smart contract and the other one goes, this is for the smart contract and the other one is the remainder that goes back to our account. So now we have to wait until the transaction confirms. That usually takes a minute or so. And I, I will not skip that. I want you to see how long it takes because this is basically the motivation to set up micro hash channels. We do not want to wait for on-chain settlement. Instead, we want to send tokens off-chain. All right, now it confirmed in Epoch 2708. Now we can open the channel. To do that, we pick our account and click on this new channel button right here. And this is the address of um, our own account. This is where we want the remainder to be sent. And then we have to enter the payee account, which is basically the other participant in the channel. Our friend right here. So we copy the ID of this channel. And now we have to put in some index where we want the money to send back to. I'll just choose 10. The other for the payee, we can also choose 10, make sure they are not used yet. and. Then we have to enter the deposit epoch. It was 2708. And now we have to choose how much token we want each micro hash to be worth. So the thing is, you do not want to choose a value that is too high because then you cannot send micro, uh, micro payments. It's basically um, the unit of value you can send. So if you set, if you choose 10,000, you can send 10,000, you can send 20,000, but you cannot send 15,000. So I would just choose um, one because um, that's 100,000, the amount we uh, 
funded the channel width divided by 100,000, um, the maximum fraction we can choose. So we could choose three, we could choose five, any value above one, but not below one. So I would choose one so we can really make micro payments. If you fund it with 1 million, for example, you can, um, you can, the minimum amount would be 10. All right, now we are opening the channel and this is our secret hash. So copy that, you will need it later to make the payments. And now you see a request um, to open a new micro hash, micro hash channel has been sent successfully. And this will take some more time because it needs to reach the smart contract and the smart contract needs to process it. And once it's finished, it will show up up here. Because our token wallet automatically um, checks whether a new channel opens uh, from us or to us in the background. And there you see it. The creation of the channel has been detected. And now if we click here, we will see that it has been added. There it is. And our friend should see that too now. There our friend also has this appeared. And you see the difference. Um, on our page, the payer is highlighted because we are the payer on the our friend's side, the payee is highlighted. So if now we want to send um, value, we enter the secret hash, which copied before. And now we can um, choose how much tokens we want to send. So for example, 50,005. Once we do that, the micro hash um, is copied to our clipboard and we have to give the micro hash to our friend. Our friend can then claim that fun uh, these tokens by entering the micro hash. As you see, it has claimed 50,005 tokens. And maybe we want to send him some more, but we cannot just enter 1,000 if we want to do so. Instead, we enter the new value we want um, our friend to have, and that would be 51,005. Again, the micro hash is copied to our clipboard and our friend can claim these uh, can claim those funds. Now at some point in time, one of both participants might decide to close the channel because someone wants his money. So I would do that as the payer, I will settle that. Um, if the payee settles the channel, um, it goes faster because the thing is, if the payer, uh, the payee has the micro hash that um, is proof for how much money was sent to him. So if the payer closes the channel, um, the, the smart contract gives the payee some time to publish the micro hash. If the payee closes the channel um, directly, uh, the payee can already send the micro hash with the closure request. It's also very important that you keep your token wallet open the entire time so that the, um, if you are the payee, so that your wallet can automatically claim your funds in case the channel closes, as you will see in a few seconds. You see the state is open and now the state is closing because it has detected that our partner is trying to close the channel. So now we have to publish our micro hash to make sure that we get the money we deserve, the, the tokens that were paid to us. 
And this, uh, this will take another 40 seconds or so. You see, currently the state is closing and the state will change to settled in a few seconds. And then the smart contract will release our funds. Now it happens. And you see transfer promoted. These are the funds released by the smart contract. So we promote them so they get published. Here now you can see them on the Token Explorer. These are the 100,000 we funded the channel with. And there are two outgoing transactions. The, uh, these 51,005 are sent to us or to our friend. And those are sent to the payer. The, this is the, just the remainder. All right, now we would have to wait until that confirms. I will stop the video here. Um, you know how that goes.